Vice Admiral Lord Louis Mountbatten, Chief of Combined Operations, presented belts of honor at Sandhurst's passing out parade before addressing Royal Armoured Corps and Reconnaissance Corps cadets. Well, as it's less than a year since I got my own commission in the army, I will refrain from giving them any military advice. If I might say one word about combined operations, if any of you go out and buy a sixpenny atlas and look at a map of the world, you will find that after we have cleared the Axis forces out of Tunisia, there is nowhere else that any of us soldiers can go and fight unless we're taken there by a seaborne expedition, unless, in fact, we carry out a combined operation of the Army, the Navy and the Air Force, no prospect whatever exists of military fighting in this war. And we cannot possibly win this war just by bombing or just by blockade. The war can only be won when the soldiers have got in, eventually among the enemy, and have taken physical possession. As the cadets march into the college, I can manage those steps quite well too. They move nearer to the moment when they'll take their place as leaders in many operations yet to be carried out. We can be sure that they'll add new luster to the undying tradition of the Royal Military College. And here we have the Piper Cub better known as the 